What's up YouTube? Back at it again. In today's video, we're going to be installing my Raxam uh, sequential tail light plug and play kit. Hope you enjoyed the video. This 50 go. I told you, they're not drinking drive. Alright, let's get this bad boy open. Not much to it. Alright, this is it. No instructions, no receipt, no nothing in this bag. Get these bad boys on the car. Once you take those screw things out, you're going to take this plastic cover thing off. All right, what you're going to do is uh. First step is first, you're going to unplug this right here. Then you're going to get your new one. You're going to plug that into here. Kind of hard to do with one hand, so hold on. Alright, so you're going to get your... You're going to put your new piece. You're going to unplug this. Plug the top piece into here and the bottom piece in there. Do the same thing on this side. I'm gonna unplug that and put your new piece in the middle of that one. Just put your plastic piece back on. Found one of the pieces in the trunk for this right here. This will go in this hole right here. And just use that to tighten it down. Alright, there you have it. Like I said in the previous video, I have a bunch of videos that I did shit way at the beginning of the year that uh, never really made the cut, so I never really put them out there. And this is one of those videos because I thought it was so easy. Like, who needs to watch an install video or something just plug and play? And like, for real, it probably only takes 10 minutes to do. 
you spend more time taking a little black plastic piece off the uh, back of inside your trunk part off and then you just unplug one and plug something into it so that's why I never really made it like I said um, it's a cheap mod you know uh, is it worth it I don't know I mean it looks nice but it's something you don't see when you're inside the car hold on that's kind of that kind of sounded stupid what I mean is a mod that you you can't see when your car is like you can't see your rims or nothing like that but this is behind you so like when you step on your brake lights you're driving the car so you never see that when you get out the car unless you have somebody step on your brake lights it's something you really don't see that's what I meant by that I got my uh, four innovations fuel system done I'm on E85 I don't know how much more horsepower I really want because I know I'm where I, I'm to where I want it to be and uh, like I said my engine can't really handle that much more without you know blowing a piston or rod or something like that so I'm debating on if I'm gonna you know start taking the heads off and doing all that internal uh, engine work on there because like I said I mean how fast do you want to go I mean we all like speed but once you start getting to the 700 horsepower, I mean, you should be happy with that. That's how I look at it. Do I want 800,000 horsepower? Yeah, it sounds good, but is it realistic? No, nah, so I don't know if I'm going to uh, do that. You know, maybe I'll just enjoy the car. And I remember years ago, everybody wanted 500 horsepower to the wheel. Now people are starting to get, you know, 700 or whatever you know all the money you're putting into your car trying to get somewhere in a few years it's going to all be obsolete to me you know what i'm saying that's how i think it's going to be like because it's just so hard keeping up with the times now you know 2025 mustang probably come 600 some horsepower you know what i'm saying and it'd be easy to get 700 horsepower 800 horsepower or whatever my future mods maybe are, you know, I want to get my seats uh, done. I'm going to get them uh, leather with the suede inserts. Um, as you can see right now, I do got the suede, uh, suede uh, headliner and I can't get it. Suede door inserts and stuff like that. Sneak peek. But, um. Like, once again, I keep telling you guys, I appreciate all the DMs and stuff like that telling me, hey, you should get so-and-so like somebody else, and they got this and they got that. I'm not in competition with nobody. And 99% of the stuff that most people have, I already have it. Or I just don't talk about it, you know. But um, that's why I always say, follow me on Instagram or whatnot so you can see my current state of my car. Because, like I said, uh, I'm on airbags. I put that on last November for Black Friday. Uh, I got my headlights redone. I haven't made a video on that. I have my bump steers. I got my long tube headers. Uh, like I said, I got my seats. got my roll bar. Uh, still got the steering wheel. Still got all the dash stuff. Uh, no. Uh, that got that cover piece back there that I never made a video of. Uh, my steel braided brake lines. Uh, still ain't did my dash cam. Uh, like I said, I have a bunch of videos. So, like I said, I just get bored with it and... I try to put a video out, but I don't know. Just get bored with it. So what I'm thinking about doing is, um, like I said before, and this, me talking right now, is present time. All these intros and outros, but the video itself was made, like, back in, maybe, when I make this, uh, maybe April, March, April, somewhere around there. So, but 
I have a car show coming up in, uh, it's a Christmas toy drive, um, uh, car show. So maybe I'll have somebody, uh, film me and I'll talk about my car or something and show the, uh, on YouTube, uh, up to date video on it. You know, just talking about the car. Like I said, I don't do all this vlogging and talking. I'm not good at that. So that's why I pretty much don't never do all that. But, uh, all right, till next time, don't drink and drive. Follow me on Instagram if you want to see current state. Uh, follow me on Facebook, Instagram at this50go. Peace.